Well, hello and welcome to Kooky Corner on this very beautiful summer day. Do you have an empty desk, Kooky? Yes, I do. It won't be for very long, I will assure you. What I wanted to show you today was, um, because I've been using some collage papers lately and making my own collage papers with simple painting techniques. Um, if you didn't get to see that, pop back to the previous video to this one and you will see how I just create my simple brushed um, uh, collage papers from uh, copy paper. I thought I would go through my box of tricks, uh, things that I use with uh, both jelly plate printing and just simple printing onto things to go through some of the things that I've got in my printing box, which is quite a mess at the minute, but let's start with bubble wrap. Everyone's got a bit of this somewhere. It makes beautiful prints either on a jelly plate or just literally rolling paint on it and pressing it down onto something. So you can get a really ASMR. You can get a really good print from that. So that's a one thing I always have in my box. Let's put that over there. Another thing that I've got in my box which I'll go into in the future is um, this is funky foam but it's specifically funky foam with a texture on it also great for jelly plates also great for just rolling some paint on or dipping into paint to get an effect uh, next thing I've got is some napkins napkins are great because you can um, literally use them as collage paper in themselves. They usually come in layers. Let's see if this one does actually come in layers. Yes, it does. So you can take that back bit off and then you've got some beautiful like ripping up collage paper to use there. So I'll have a few of those in my set. You can pick those up in most places. Right over there, there's going to be a whole pile of stuff comes falling down in a minute. You'll hear it. <laughs> uh, oh, this is always cool to have sequin waste. Sequin waste is something good to punch through with paint onto a piece of paper. Um, I've got lots of it here. I've got a starry one in here somewhere. Yeah, it's got little stars. So sequin waste is also great to have um, as like a making background papers, collage papers, or just a background for a piece of artwork. And what else do I have in here? Hold on to your cardboard tubes, people. <laughs> uh, generally, the ones that come in the middle of um, kitchen rolls or I don't know, whatever else that you might have bags sometimes plastic bags you know the, the ones that you put into your bins come on a roll these are handy in many ways you can cut them down you could cover them with something and use them as a, a template uh, a template um, a roller so you could cover them say with that um, funky foam and use them to roll uh, you could use the ends of them to print with oh look can you see through that <laughs> Uh, yeah, printing with the ends, to dip it in paint, print with it, always a handy thing to have. I am a womble um, for a reason. I, I womble in order to get myself some options for using in my artwork. Now I have got a load of these, but I'll just show you a couple of them, if I can find them. Um, simple foam based rubber stamps dunk it in dunk it on this one's a double-sided one which is quite handy um these i think they came on a, a magazine a needle craft magazine a long time ago but they still have them these are like these are like nearly 30 years old i hate to say that but still working even if you've just got the base, you could scrape that off and stick yourself some funky foam on your own, of your own um, accord there. So yeah, shapes, another heart shape there, obviously has into hearts at some point. 
um, pop them over there rubber stamps not specifically this one but this one was in the box so I just grabbed it any rubber stamps you have were also going to be great for adding uh, texture and marks not specifically an animal but you can get stars and different things uh, that's just the one I had in the box you hear me rumbling around in here I'm just finding things <laughs> always handy to have a set of really cheap kids brushes for spreading paint or even for stenciling these these are great for kind of like dabbing paint on so I always have a box of those in my print making box I'm gonna have a full table you know I had an empty table it's going to be pretty full by the time I've done loads more bubble wrap and oh oh here's a thing here's a thing these I've had for a while they're called shapelets for polymer clay and paper etc but they're like stencils just simple stencils these are like a an art doll shape one that I got many moons ago um, clear stamps <laughs> that's cool um, but yeah flexible self adhering stamps so get yourself a clear plate these are great for mark making especially leaves and things onto a piece of artwork um, so much stuff not around as much today but if you get hold of it polystyrene plates you can draw into these to get yourself uh, mark making I have one of these tools that I use for that so say just drawing into it and if I then print it over that, obviously I'd have a nice impression of that in it. And that's great for rolling paint over, printing on. The back has also got a surface, rolling paper over printing on. When you walk around looking always for things that would print, um, strangely enough, I saw, I saw this the other day and I was doing out some old cupboards and I found this. And it's like it's a telescope basically <laughs> i can't even remember where it's from it's probably from a mcdonald's toy at some point but also got a really nice texture on it so i thought oh yeah i could roll that in paint that'd be great <laughs> womble womble brain you need a womble brain and what else do we have in here oh these are a set of stamps i got way way back when and they are adinkra stamps so they're the west african symbols with a nice handy little booklet in there but again great for just adding some interest into uh collage paper or um piece of artwork even so yes those are things i have in my stash the other thing that i was having a go at yesterday was you wouldn't be able to see these that kind of see through but making some simple uh, acetate templates like stencils um i had a sheet of acetate in my stash you can also use the tops of supermarket cartons that cakes and things come in anything with a plastic base and just save the plastic from it because then you can make your own stencils this one's got triangles i don't know if you can actually see this on camera or not if i tilt it you might be able to see a little bit better this one was kind of random um random trapezoids or rectangles that's just like tigery stripes and that one's more of a windows not the microsoft version <laughs> um template and that was out of a 12 by 12 um piece of acetate that i had and i cut down to four six inch squares which will go perfectly onto one of my uh one of my sketchbooks so again that's a whole load of things that you can use in order to make prints with and i'll go through one of those specifically in a minute with you using the simple toilet roll inner <laughs> And you'll be able to see how we make a tool that we can use for printing with that so some of the things that you can make a print from 
are things that you might even have hanging around your house. I'll go through a few that I have in my printing box. I have a specific box where I keep all my little bits and pieces that I think would be good for making the print, uh, both with my jelly uh, plate and also just general, just printing into paint, making a mark. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is a really simple one. And all you need is a toilet roll in a tube. And this is funky foam. Uh, this is a, quite a nice one though because it has a print on it. I've got another one over here as well, which is kind of like a ridged one. If you can see that, it's kind of a bit like corrugated card, but it's funky foam. And this is from Hobbycraft uh, in the UK. I'm presuming that if you are anywhere else in the world, um, I don't know, Blix may have it or Michaels or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is funky foam, which in itself is a good thing anyway, just the plain old common or garden funky foam, but this is extra special. I think they do different varieties of this with different patterns on it. Anyhow, in a tube of a toilet roll, I have got my Felton foam tacky glue here. Wait a minute, before I do that, I just want to make sure what size this is. So let me clear that out of the way. Okay, so measured my toilet roll thingamadoo. And I'm going to need to trim a little bit off there to make it fit perfectly. So it's not too bad, actually. Let's take that edge off there. Let's see how that goes. You want it to be a nice fit. Uh, you can do this with double-sided tape, um, but because I've got my funky, my funky foam glue, I thought I'd give it a shot with this as well. This will all make sense, I promise. <laughs> okay, so that's that's about right. So what I'm going to do instead of trying to get it on the toilet roll, I'm just going to put it on my fun funky foam. I want to get it on the edges, don't I? Especially because that's where the toilet roll you know, is going to lie. I have stocked up on a load of this because I use it for felt as well. So it does get a lot of use. It gets a lot of hammer, this glue. Because it is for uh, both funky foam and felt. Let's give that a go. Okay, it's a tacky glue. So hopefully it should hold together. <laughs> I'm going to start on one end. Maybe I should position it a little more carefully. Okay. And then I'm kind of just roll it around. Hopefully it will meet at one point there. Now because I am not prepared to sit here and hold this forever, what I think I'm going to do is just maybe just sit and hold it forever. <laughs> it doesn't take really that long to hold together. You could actually put clips on it but I'm fearful that the clips might damage the printing and you know, it ca cause a mark on it. Um, I think the other thing I could do is see if I can <laughs> hold it together. See if I can hold it together. Uh, yeah, like that. Yeah, that should work. And um, that's not going to be like pressing down with a metal implement in it. So you can see where I'm going with this. Well, hopefully you can see where I'm going with this. If you have got on your personage um, a little paint roller, you know, the ones where you slot the roller on, these beautiful inners of the toilet rolls fit on there perfectly. Uh, so once this is dry, this, in theory, will slide onto my little paint roller and will then give me a nice tool for um, manoeuvring or applying paint. 
So that's one little tip that I can give you for making a, a homemade roller out of next to nothing. Um, if you haven't got any funky foam, another good thing you could do is to wrap around string or yarn or um, basically anything that you can put on there that's going to give it some texture. Um, and that would be good to go also. If you've just got the ordinary funky foam, what I have seen done is you could just cut strips and just stick those on in strips so you get like a stripey effect. Or you could do like tiger stripes so you get like a, a tiger stripe effect. Um, but that's basically out of nothing, out of next to nothing. And it, it, if you have any of these things, then it, it will cost you absolutely nothing at all. I need to go and dig out my, my little roller so that I can um, attach this on and then we can have a go at seeing how it works. And so I made another one of my toilet roll rollers. <laughs> the toilet roll inner and the foam outer with the ridged um, pattern on it. And this is going to be part one of making um, some nice collage papers so please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe uh, and especially the bell because the next part of this is going to be us making some beautiful collage papers ready for our pieces of artwork have a wonderful weekend and i will see you next week bye for now